Hello friends, I am Ranjan Sharma and welcome back to my AutoCAD channel. Students, you people are also welcome to my channel and today I will be taking up the very interesting topic, literally interesting topic about uh, the thing the most of people have asked that how actually we can record and play in AutoCAD. Yes my dear friends, it is very very uh, easily possible to actually uh, record uh, the uh, drawing and you can always play it okay so we have a uh, you know the command called action record and today I'll be teaching you guiding you and making you understand with my best efforts that how to actually record a drawing and you can again play it that doesn't make much of sense but uh, let me try this for example if you prepare a drawing and you delete it and save it and then we, when you open it you will not be able to see the entire drawing but by pressing the record button you can always record the drawing and you can play it later play it later means you can generate it later likewise just see now pay attention I am going to prepare full fledged drawing for you for you people and then we will see that how it actually works for example for recording a drawing to record the entire uh, lines dimension text maybe a any drawing where maybe it is of civil engineering autocad and architecture drawing you can always record each and every line of the drawing and even if you delete the drawing or switch off the file or maybe you, you lose it lose the file you can always generate it by the play button so how this is going to happen is you just pay attention now I am going to make a room uh, of an office basically it's office place with a oh, very uh, simple uh, uh, maybe a furniture layout and a simple a 2d layout plan uh, so let's start so before starting it my dear friends whether you prepare a mechanical drawing civil engineering drawing and architectural drawing first of all you need to you know go to the manage tab and click this button that is record which says action record now this is your uh, uh, command that is act record you can read it here you can create an action macro by reading most of the commands that you can already familiar with and my dear friend before starting the video even even maybe uh, students or CAD users or my dear friends if you like this video please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel and if you don't like please don't give any absurd comments it's just I'm preparing this video just for the students who don't get a chance to go to the learning centers and get best tutors so this is for a very noble cause okay so let's start to the video so what I'm going to do is I'm first of all going to the uh, the, of course we are very well familiar with the uh, AutoCAD uh, this is menu bar and toolbar and this is the command section everything whatever you feel like and you first of all you need to go to the manage tab in the manage tab you have the record button you click this record button when you click this the action record command will become active when you click this see likewise we, uh, we in which we have in our cameras uh, maybe handy cams maybe mobile phones so this red color means that recording has been started and in this video I'm going very slow because I have uh, you know been requested for most of the guys and students that sir please go slow okay so first of all I have a drawing in front of my table uh, sorry on my table and I'm going to prepare a line diagram uh, very quickly so just be with me and uh, please see this video till the end alright so I'm first of all I'm going to prepare a room a room and I have certain saved uh, layers also I'm going to pick up the outer wall layer see outer wall layer and I'm going to make the rectangle uh, quickly just click here and uh, the dimensions would be uh, 33 feet by 19 feet 4.5 inches maybe a general layout okay so I'll get this now I have mm, I have switched on this line weight I can always switch it off but for you people I'll just switch it, uh, switch it on just to make it happen look beautiful now I have already saved this videos uh, saved this layers now I can dimension this also I can say dimension see I am keeping this record button on F once it is on it is forever you just you can say this 
it is 33 fifths okay my dear friends and if you say dimensional linear I'm going to make you show the full flat drawing complete drawing no hurries all right I can go to the D enter dimension I can increase the size as well uh, I'm not able to see the size I can go to the modify text I can text height I can make it three inches just just uh, just pay attention and you will enjoy this video all right so this is 33 fits now I'm going to do you now I'm going to prepare a finance head finance head cabin that uh, okay and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, you know take a offset all right I'm going to o enter and I'm going to make it 11 feet 1.5 inches all right yeah that's it uh, I'm going to save this drawing and uh, then I have mm, uh, 11 feet again offset 11 feet I, I, I have this alright then I'll use the trim command alright so I can say tr enter you click enter and if you just delete this you say tr enter trim command enter and you, you just get this, this is the finance head room alright and uh, now I'm going to you know prepare uh, a simple desk a simple desk with the uh, furniture and I'm going to pick up the poly line over here and I'm going to draw this maybe five feet six inches the desk then uh, I'm going to make it come down to six feet enter and then I'm going to go three feet and then I'm going to give uh, maybe something till here just uh, I'll s make the tr O track on uh, and uh, I'll just come here and click here and see this is the desk of the of uh, maybe the financial head and you can always just move this then I'm going to enter some chairs uh, I'm going to uh, enter this TP from the tool palettes as well Right, uh, not from the tool palette, sorry, from the but from the design center. Uh, from the design center, I can pick it uh, a chair. Uh, mm, maybe just 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 design center. Click it here. I'm I'm going to uh, choose the home spacers the blocks here the chair right click I'm going to insert as a block I just click it here okay uh, click it here and enter and enter so, so uh, you, uh, of course you all know that how to enter a block with X factor 1 and Y factor 1 I just move it here I just bring it here and what I'm doing going to do is I'm going to simply going to rotate this you rotate all right a and you can just move it just move it uh, clear okay then I'm going to copy this I'm going to copy this till here uh, I hope uh, my voice is very much clear to everybody but sorry I'm don't there's a very good mic today uh, uh, but still I'll try my level best to make you guys understand and I can rotate this I can rotate this just to just to sit alright so make sense this is a desk and then I'm going to provide I'm going to provide a door over here of 2 feet 6 inches of 2 feet 6 inches what I can I can just squeeze this 
and I am going to uh, enter a door, a door dynamic block. I have a door, door imperial. I can click it here. I I, I can do this. I can uh, uh, rotate this. Of course, uh, this is the door. now I can use some hatch pattern I can use some hatch pattern for this I can say edge enter when I say edge enter uh, I can click it here and see I've got a beautiful uh, floor patterns uh, what kind of floor pattern would you like uh, maybe this one maybe and uh, you can just uh, you can increase the scale as well make it three uh, so this is a beautiful uh, flow pattern for the finance head all right I can uh, dimension it as well you can see this This is a very short, uh, you know, uh, what you call as uh, the video. But we have started from when uh, we say play. All right. Now, uh, when I say stop, I say stop. Okay. So I can rename this. I can rename this action macro. I ca I, I can re re uh, uh, rename it like finance. Finance uh, or maybe bank layout maybe just name bank layout okay and uh, you can uh, save it anywhere you feel like and uh, mm, uh, you can say okay oh sorry uh, sorry uh, there are no there should no there should be no spaces okay yeah now so what I'm going to do is if I delete this drawing by mistake if I delete this drawing see if I delete this drawing all right and I'm not able to undo it for what rhyme or reason you can always regenerate the drawing how you can go to the see you can go to the manage tab again and there is something called record but you need not record it we have already done the recording now we ne just need to play but play what you can scroll down the names uh, circle box I have created the earlier drawing but, but now right now I have created a blank layout just when you click the blank layout when you just uh, click play you see the magic 
just click play and you can see the drawing want to uh, make you understand that that it is always possible to regenerate a drawing even if you delete this so you have deleted this once again you can say see if I go to the manage tab and go to the record button click the record button and then start preparing a drawing maybe uh, maybe some rectangle all right a poly line maybe some poly uh, polygon you want to draw polygon maybe six sides uh, maybe center of polygon this maybe inscribed and maybe this is this is the radius maybe any radius All right and we then you say enter C you can always uh, you know draw a circle you are drawing a hexagonal that's it this is the only drawing you want to draw and then you say stop when you say stop you can always uh, save it by hexagonal nut okay and here you can check the file name the hexagonal net and the when pausing for the entry users restore pre break pre playback view or whatever you feel like you just say okay all right and uh, now afterwards then what are you going to do is even if you by mistake save this drawing and uh, you just delete this that th this just you know uh, you go to the home tab and you just delete this drawing by mistake delete this okay and then you want this draw you want you people want this drawing again to be regenerated what do you do is you simply go to the manage tab simply go to the manage tab and ju just ju just select the hexagonal that just remember the name of the ac action macro and say play when you say play it will be generated so make sense my dear friends yeah so that's all for today's video all I want to you know tell the all of the CAD users that you can always regenerate a drawing always regenerate a drawing even if you delete it so it is just it is more than un undo and uh, redoing the uh, this uh, particular drawing so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please do ask my dear friends this is a very knowledgeable video again and again I'm repeating that even if you by mistake delete the whole of the drawing it can be regenerated with the play button but make sure you press the record button before starting your drawing okay thanks for watching happy drafting be good thank you